Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a cook and clean with me. We're gonna make chicken velvet soup and then avocado brownies. We're gonna do soup and salad. And so I will show you how I make these recipes. I'll go ahead and get Eliana in the bath and in bed. She did not take an afternoon nap, just kept playing in her crib. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll get started with dinner and do a cook and clean with me. So stay tuned. While the chicken had 27 minutes left in the crock pot, I got Eliana ready for bed. Daddy came in and made her laugh so hard, I couldn't help but get this on video. <laughs> First, I shredded the chicken that I had cooking in the crock pot during the day. You could probably make this whole soup in the crock pot, but I didn't for some reason, but I just cooked the chicken. And then I had 3 fourths cup of butter in the pot melted and added 3 fourths cup of flour to that and mixed it all together. And then I added a cup of milk. The recipe calls for warm milk, but I didn't have the patience for that, so I just poured it straight in. And then I added six cups of chicken broth. A cup of cream. and three cups of cooked chicken. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. and then I let all of that simmer together. Once that was all cooking, I went ahead and put some extra chicken that I had cooking in the crock pot in a container, and I just tidied up a bit. Next, I made a salad. Nothing fancy, super simple. The soup turned out smooth and delicious. So this dinner was really simple, just soup salad, and I added a piece of bread to go with it. Next, I made the avocado brownies. These call for two avocados, maple syrup, two eggs, sugar, vanilla, baking soda, whole wheat flour, cocoa, salt, and chocolate chips. And here I'll show you how I made them. I baked these brownies at 
350 for 35 minutes. While the avocado brownies were baking, I went ahead and tidied up a little bit and put the chicken velvet soup away. They turned out very moist and fudgy. The only issue I had with these brownies is that they did have an avocado taste to them. I wish there was less of an avocado taste, but overall, these brownies were very good. So if you like avocado, I would give these brownies a try. Next, it was time to clean up the kitchen. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of cleaning motivation. I started by loading the dishwasher and then washing the other dishes that either didn't fit or that I don't usually put in the dishwasher. Here I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Peony Multi-Surface Spray. It smells so good and it's perfect for spring.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some cooking and cleaning inspiration. I'll see you next time. Bye.